Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing some electric Swedish luxury. This is the Volvo XC40 single motor recharge plus rear wheel drive. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you all about it because I do all the research so you don't have to. Let's get into it. So fresh, so clean. Big dreams, man, what you mean? It's me. So fresh, so clean. Said I will rise it with a panty. Big dreams, man, what you mean? So first off, let's talk about the design and Volvo is known for their classy, simplistic looks and nothing is different with the XC40. Starts off with their signature Thor-like LED headlights which look amazing. You get the closed off grille because this is a fully electric car so we need to make sure the aerodynamics are on point. The design is seamless and it just flows throughout the whole car. All your parking sensors and your radar sensors are up here in front and up front i feel this is a gorgeous looking vehicle that goes without saying coming to the side 19 inch wheels which yo these look beautiful they are massive they drive superb you get all these sleek lines and curves along the bonnet very minimalistic but it's just typical volvo just how they do it it's simple but ah it's it's they're doing the things on the side it's complemented with black mirrors and a black roof I, I love the the color tones because you do get these black touches all over the body keyless entry and then here to remind you that this is the electric version it, it writes here recharge along the side you get where you charge your car you don't put petrol in this thing so that's where your charging pods go dc charging or ac charging luckily i live only five minutes away from a dc charger so living with this has been quite a breeze and i've been enjoying my time design wise it looks moy 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 xc40 badging volvo it does have a bit of a protruding back it adds to the look and you get an electric tailgate which gives you 452 liters of boot space this is a family car at the end of the day it's a volvo it's an suv and it's supposed to cater for the family so i feel like that's very practical and that is a lot of space thought i saw a hidden compartment <laughs> but yes electric tailgate for the win it's a premium car you need can be doing manual labor in a premium car let's hop inside okay we're recording you get inside <laughs> <laughs> you get inside the volvo xc40 and premium typical volvo fashion that nothing is screaming loud it's just premium luxury and you get to feel and experience the money that you spent inside you are greeted by a lot of soft touch materials and everything that feels very plush and feels very good these seats are the eco-friendly level they are very comfortable to be in and very comfortable to sit on. The seats are all electrically adjustable seats and you do get memory seats. So when if someone else was using your seat or someone else was driving the car, you can just press. You can set your seat how you want to drive. And then every time you get back in the car, you just press your number and it puts you back to whatever your driving position was and is. This is not my driving position. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> um, here you are greeted with a 9-inch infotainment screen that is powered by Google's operating system. Means by as saying as simple as, hey Google and okay Google, you can control the car and do whatever you want with the car as in 
finding the nearest coffee shop to changing the climate and whatever it is. It doesn't have wireless Apple CarPlay. You just need to, it has Apple CarPlay. You just need to connect the cable first and then you will have your CarPlay. The driver has a digital cluster as well that shows you your current battery percentage and all the important information that you need as a driver. The dash and the here as well on the trims, you do get, I don't know, these contours that feel good. And I'm not too sure what it means, but I'm going to do the research and find out. They do light up at night, which look very, very nice and give it a very, in, give the cabin a very inviting feel. It's kitted with a Harman Kardon sound system and Harman Kardon is just brilliant. This, it sounds amazing. It sounds very premium, very classy. You have your multifunctional steering wheel that is filled so nice in the hands, your Volvo badging in the center and adaptive cruise control, obviously. You do get um, type C charging and no, not USB charging. It's Type C all around. Type C up front. Two more Type C at the back. You get more space down here. Your cup holders and you actually the car. It doesn't have a typical start button. So when you do get inside the Volvo, all you have to do is foot on the brake. And you put it in drive and now the car is on. And because it's electric, you can't hear anything. But the car is actually on right now. Put it back in park. Uh, these are touch sensitive, so... That's all you have to do. And I feel like that's very premium. You just tap it and then it, it goes on. Really nice. The car is active. It's telling me, it's reminding me that the car is active. Because it's so silent, you might forget that the car is actually on. And you, you can just like walk out or something with the car on. So it does remind you that, yo, don't forget that the car is actually on. Hmm. Under the bonnet, you get a twin turbo 4 liter V8 engine. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> this is electric, so you do not get an engine over here. It's powered by a 69 kilowatt hour battery that produces 175 kilowatts and 330 newton meters of torque. Here, you get a little frunk. Um, I've been using it just to store the cable. So you do have more storage up here. This is where you charge. So, just so you know, you can charge this in your garage. This is the typical wall socket that you know. You plug it into your garage, then you plug this into your car. Just know plugging it into your garage is, is an overnight process. So, this will take you about 16 hours to fill up your car, which is not... Yeah, it's okay if you're just getting back from work and you're plugging it in. Otherwise, you can use an AC charger which does take about eight to 10 hours. And your other option is to use the DC charger, which is the fast charger, which you get at either dealerships or some spot. But when you get the car, you do get the option of installing a wall box into your house and having it, having your own fast charger, which just makes a lot of sense. You do pay the extra coins for it. And speaking about coins, the Volvo XC40 single motor recharge plus rear wheel drive costs 1 million, 1.1 million. It's one, you're looking at 1.1 million rands and it drives like a 1.1 million rand car. This is extremely luxurious, extremely comfortable and so precise. It's quick. That goes without saying. And for the fact that it's electric and it gives you all that power instantly if you don't know your shandis ah, it will be a different story because this thing is quick the steering is just precise you turn it left it goes left and it's sharp the steering as well it it's very 
sporty and it feels firm it feels like you always feel like you're in control of the car and you know what the front is doing the fact that it's rear wheel drive you can lose it if you don't know what what you're doing but i've been thoroughly impressed with the ride refinement that comes with this uh volvo xc40 it drives superb 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 and the fact that it's electric that means that you will not be hearing anything the wipers make more noise than the actual car so have they cooked are they cooking or are they cooked i think volvo have really cooked here yes there is less power but now there is more range and when it comes to electric cars i think range is the most important thing the power this produces is way more than sufficient the xc40 is a great car and it looks stunning i think volvo is at the forefront of electric innovation exciting times ahead of us please in the comments let me know what you think about this volvo xc40 but also let me know what you think about electric cars in general thank you for watching peace out and stay safe